What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. In today's video, how many calories should baseball players eat every day? The number of calories an athlete needs every single day is going to differ on an individual basis and will be determined by a few different factors. Height, weight, age, and activity level. The two main factors involved in calculating your overall calories are BMR, and activity level. BMR stands for basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories your body needs when it is resting. So if you're sitting on the couch all day doing absolutely nothing, your body will burn a certain number of calories to maintain its function, and that would be your BMR. Number two, activity level. That is anything on top of sitting on the couch. So getting up, walking around, and doing any running, any lifting, any baseball practice, any swinging, any throwing, all these things are gonna be factored into and fall under your activity level. When you find out your BMR and your activity level, to combine those two numbers, that's gonna give you your total daily energy expenditure, or your TDEE. Once you've found your TDEE, I'm going to give you two methods to figure out how many calories you should be consuming on a daily basis in order to lose weight or gain weight. The first method is called the quick method. For fat loss, you're going to take your overall current body weight and you're going to multiply that by 10 to 12 calories per pound of body weight. The low number being for low activity, the middle number being for moderate activity, and the high number being for high activity. For maintenance, you're just gonna consume your total daily energy expenditure. That is your number in order to maintain your weight. If you're looking to gain weight, you're gonna take your overall body weight and multiply it by 18 to 20 calories per pound. And like I said, this is called the quick method. It's just simply giving you a ballpark, a place to start, okay? It's all about finding a baseline, a baseline number of calories to get you started. Next up, method number two, it's called a diet recall. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna track your food for seven days. You're gonna eat as you would, totally normal. Anything that has a calorie in it, you are going to track it. After the end of seven days, you're gonna take that total number of calories for the entire week, divide that by the number of days, which in this case is seven, that's gonna give you a daily average amount of calories that you consume. If over that week you maintained your weight, then that is your maintenance level or your TDEE. If your goal is to lose weight, you're going to minus 10% off of that daily average. If you want to gain weight, you're going to add 10% to that daily average. And again, like I said, that is going to give you the probably the most custom number uh, by actually putting it into action and seeing what is actually working. Um, that's the only way to really know what is your actual number is, by, is based on the actual results that you are getting. So how do you track your calories? Well, first of all, there's tons of free apps out there. The one that I use and that I prefer is MyFitnessPal. You can download it for free in the App Store and get started by tracking these numbers. Do the calculations, plug it into MyFitnessPal, and get started.